Hi, I'm Michael Lai, Principal Podiatrist at East Coast Podiatry. Today we have students from Tampanese Meridian Junior College and they're here to ask me some questions about diabetic foot ulcers. Firstly, we would like to start off with a general question, which is what are diabetic foot ulcers? Diabetic foot ulcers are poorly healing open sores on the feet of diabetics and they can penetrate skin layers, muscle and all the way down to bone. How common are foot ulcers in diabetic patients? In terms of prevalence, between about 19 to 34% of all diabetics will have diabetic foot ulcers during their lifetime. Thank you. I would like to now invite my classmate, Lee Wen, to ask the next question. Sure. Hi, Dr. Lai. We would like to ask how often do diabetic foot ulcers recur? Uh, in terms of recurrence, about 65% of all diabetics who had diabetic foot ulcers will have recurrence within five years. And if you break it down, that's about 40% within the first year, 60% within three years, and 65% within five years. Oh, I see. But why do diabetic foot ulcers recur? Well, major factors contributing to recurrence of foot ulcers include poor blood glucose control, peripheral neuropathy, poor vascular supply, uh, presence of foot deformities, and patient non-compliance to recommended footwear. Thank you, Dr. Lai. I'll invite my classmate Eliana to ask the next question now. Hi, Eliana. Have a seat. The question I have for you is, can diabetic foot ulcers be prevented? Uh, in terms of prevention, I can think of five. One is to keep the feet clean and dry, and the diabetic person must check their feet daily for signs of infection, injury, and deformity. Two, overall, would be to have a good control of blood glucose and weight management. Three is no smoking. Four is to adhere to recommended footwear outside and at home. And five would be regular diabetic foot screenings by a podiatrist or by a medical professional who is very experienced with dealing with diabetic foot complications. At what stage will diabetic foot ulcers be irreversible? Uh, typically, the ulcers have a poor outcome if they have penetrated to the depth of tendon, bone, and joint and such deep ulcers are usually classified as uh, infected also. Now in terms of uh, general health prognosis for healing ulcers, ulcers will have a poor outlook if there is a presence of deep infection and also if the affected limb has a poor arterial supply. Thank you so much. I will now invite my classmate Haley to ask the next question. Hi Haley, have a seat. Hi Dr. Lai. So the question I have for you today is, do diabetic patients in Singapore usually seek podiatric care early or only at very late stages? Some do seek care in time, but unfortunately, many diabetics with foot ulcers try to manage their own wounds at home and seek specialist care too late. Now, diabetic foot ulcers can deteriorate and develop infection quite rapidly. An ulcer that they're managing at home can go from manageable to full-blown sepsis overnight. That is a grave concern. Now, uh, I would attribute that to general lack of awareness regarding diabetic foot complications and their seriousness. But on that note, Singapore has started public health initiatives such as the War on Diabetes, which seek to raise general public awareness on diabetic foot conditions. Many Singaporeans with diabetic foot ulcers usually purchase diabetic shoes as a solution. Would you recommend such shoes to your patient? Shoes is definitely one of the important components for preventing diabetic foot ulcers and also preventing recurrence of diabetic foot ulcers. In terms of shoe selection, it really depends on the uh, severity of the diabetic person's foot risk status, whether they have foot deformities, whether they have peripheral neuropathy, and other factors such as that. Now, for many diabetic patients who are not at a severely critical foot risk, they can get away with wearing a pair of well-fitted sports shoes extra wide fit, good uh, cushioning outsole, and importantly can fit custom molded orthotic insoles, which are specially made for people with diabetic foot problems. Thank you, Dr. Lai. That's all the questions we have for you today. Yeah, okay. And uh, for those of you watching this video, if you have any follow-up questions regarding diabetic foot complications, you can leave a question in the comment section below. All right, see you next time. Thank you for watching. If you find our podiatry videos informative, please like and share them with someone who might find them useful. If you need to contact us or find one of our clinics, go ahead and take a screenshot now. To subscribe, you can click this button over here. See you in the next video.